And we would like to take this opportunity to encourage you to display good sportsmanship to everyone involved. Please do your part by showing respect to every spectator, athlete, coach, and official involved in today's contest. Inappropriate behavior or language will not be tolerated, and it may result in your removal from the stadium. This game is being played according to the rules of the MIAA. And now for your starting lineups. For the New Bedford High School uh, girls starting lineup, number 13, sophomore captain, Calista Pacheco. Number 11, senior captain, Sam Panacho. Number one, junior goalkeeper, Avery Rodgers. Number seven, freshman Vanessa Blucha. Number two, sophomore Destiny Misay. Number eight, sophomore Sage Morrow. Number 18, freshman Jenna Noguera. Number 16, sophomore Terry Pereira. Number 17, freshman Alexia Rodericks. Number 12, sophomore Zoe Rosa. And number three, freshman Kim Sanaberia. Head coach of New Bedford High, Andrew Noguera. Now for the starting lineups for Brockton High School. Number 11, senior defenseman Jayla Curran Stewart, captain. Number 24, senior midfielder, captain Alicia Tachman. Number zero, junior goalkeeper, Ayla Shomston. Number one, junior midfielder, Lena Marion. Number six, junior defenseman, Jada Fernandez. Number seven, senior forward, Emily Tavares. Number eight, senior midfielder, Madison Moore. Number nine, sophomore midfielder, Tara Hodricks. Number 14, senior defenseman, Diana Tesserville. Number 16, sophomore midfielder, Charlotte Nahan. Number 17, junior defenseman, Daleen Souza. Head coach for Brockton High School, Tim Kaprinsky. Now, if everybody could please rise and face the flag for the playing of our national anthem. Gentlemen, boys, and girls, soccer fans of all ages, this is Rocky Marciano Stadium, home of your Brockton Boxers, and today it is a Southeast Conference matchup. First time saying that. As the new Bedford Whalers come to town to face your Lady Boxers, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, bringing all the action high above the turf here on Armand Colombo Field. The Boxers looking to 
get their fourth straight victory. And the New Bedford Whalers are looking to prevent that from happening in a big division matchup with early season playoff implications. The Whalers wearing their visiting all white jerseys, silver trim around the red numbers. And the boxers in their home black jerseys, white trim around the red numbers. A beautiful afternoon, a 4.45 p.m. start for this game. That's the fear of the Triple E mosquito borne illness. Has moved all the start times up from 6 or 7 p.m. to 5 or earlier. Boxers have to strike early if they want to set the tone for this game. And the Whalers start off with opening possession. We should talk on the far side for Brockton. Beautiful afternoon here at Marciano is talking pressuring. The shot is going to deflect off of one of the Whalers and into the arms of the winning goaltender. Playoff of New Bedford. So we start as these two teams try to figure each other out. Now Madison Moore in trying to start the scoring early in this one. She loses the ball, sends it to the outside for run of Marion. Shot in the good save. Goalkeeper Elish Olmstead for the boxers. Having a phenomenal start to the year. She's been tested early and often, but the boxers have been able to string together a couple of wins. Field. He's trying to find Jara Rodriguez on the far side and was broken up by New Bedford. And Madison Moore is going to be whistled for the offsides. Pretty good from the 35 yard line of the football match. Spotted 37 and a half. Bedford with an opportunity that's number two. Destiny to say. Well, those numbers are fairly hard to read in the bright light, so I apologize if I get any of them mixed up. <coughs> Kick just inside the 20. The Bedford with position. And number seven was pushed down from behind. That would be Vanessa Pucha. Freshman, a very, <coughs> very young roster for the Whalers.
only three seniors on this team. Only one of which is in the starting lineup. That would be Sam Ganacho. Opportunity for the boxes to cross. It goes wide. Madison Moore can catch up to it. Six freshmen on the Oilers roster. Six sophomores. And three juniors do along with the three seniors. The boxers graduated from 12 seniors last year, have another 12 on the roster this year. You can see head coach Tim Kaprinsky in the Great blue clothes on the boxers' sideline. Here's one of Marion. Chasing it down on the far side. Number 14 for the boxers, Deanna Desernville. We're five minutes into the first half, still scores between the Southeast Conference rival, the Bedford Whalers. Corner kick for the Whalers. Coming from number 16 of the Rose, finds the side of the net. The sophomore Terry Pereira picking up one for the Whalers. English Homestead for the Boxers. That's Marion scrapping for it. Carrying across the middle. And she's not able to hold on. Jada Fernandez, the junior center back, and the boxers have a three on two. And some more. He's not going to be able to get a shot off. He would have had an empty net. Set out by 21. Emma Almeida, the sophomore for New Bedford. Bedford goaltender. Robert picks it up, no problem. It's 
first one sent all the way back to Olmstead. She sends it over towards the far sideline. It's Fernandez with it. She gets taken out. Russian will move advantage to Brockton as they have clear possession. Now Madison Moore in the middle. Lost it, finds Marion, but it's going to be off sides. Freshman goalie, Roderick. That's a handball against New Bedford. <clears throat> Number eight to win a battle. sophomore Sage Mora. Crosses knocked out of play off of New Bedford, so it'll be a corner kick from the far side for the boxers, their first corner kick of the evening. Headed up and wide. Okay, coming for the Befford substitution number four, Kira Mendoza, number fourteen, Haven Lopes. Substitutions from PA announcer Felix Nieves. Bedford bench. Back across midfield, New Bedford trying to strike. Side, just turning on the Jets. She's to the 20, the 15, the 10. Her shot's going to be dove upon by Roderick. A 
other than in short instances has been a very sleepy first 15 minutes. for it. It's taken away by the whale which is the big picks up. Two minutes remaining in the first half. A very, very sleepy first half. Save for two good chances from Brockton. Zone. 
abilities that uh, play. Well, I might have been still part of it. Homestead sent back towards midfield. Bedford. Just throw it from the corner. Brockton Madison Moore, sending it further ahead, but blocked away by New Bedford. Still in trouble, and a shot is going to go wide for Brockton. New Bedford substitution, number 21, Emma Almeida. Almeida coming in. Practice substitution number three, Anya Barros. Number ten, Mia Otero. Otero coming in. Corner kick up coming for Brockton. matchup coming on Saturday afternoon. Not so newly named athletic director on the Perry C. Allen track here. Old time historical matchup. It's Brockton High football traveling to the North Shore to face the Everett Crimson. Two of the winningest programs in Massachusetts high school history. We'll be there on Brockton Community Access. I don't think it'll be too, too competitive, but you never know. Of course, that matchup was at its best when Armand Colombo was at the helm of the Brockton Boxers and Coach DiBiasso was at the helm for the Crimson. DiBiasso retired. Quote from coaching high school football, retired, and one day later signed on to coach Catholic Memorial down in West Roxbury. Norman Colombo, of course, unfortunately passing away the last couple of years. Number 16 taking the free kick for the Whalers. Terry Pereira. <coughs> <coughs> now an opportunity on the far side 
the shot in a, a save by Roderick as she was going to her knees. Subs for both teams. Look out for substitution number six, Emily Miranda, number nine, Karen Ramos. Rockton substitution number two, Jaylena Davis. to exist. Thank God, finally. Durfee, New Bedford, and Brockton joining up with Bridgewater Raynham and Dartmouth High School to form the new Southeast Conference. And it was due for more than a few years because three-team conference was usually dominated by the Brockton Boxers. And there were so many three-team conferences throughout the state of Massachusetts that way too many teams were qualifying for the playoffs. So this will hopefully remedy that situation instead of a potential six-round matchup before you get to the states. Hopefully, be a max of four. And then, of course, the state semi and state final. This new program under Coach Kaprinsky looks to be a few years away from dreaming of that. 12 seniors last year, 12 this year. These boxers look to get veteran leadership over the next couple of years. to go here in the first half.
Bedford substitution number eight, Sage Morrow. Number 17, Alexia Rogers. Have to go now in the first half. Fourteen halves, of course. Am I a a high school soccer? Shot is going to go well wide. Bedford substitution number seven, Vanessa Bucha. Brockton substitution number eight, Madison Moore. Number 24, Alicia Cochran. left here. See if one of these teams will get on the board before the break. Substitution number 11, Sam Panacho. Number 21, Emma Almeida. Brockton substitution number 5, Haley Ricks. <coughs> Ricks coming in for Ricks and the Slow move in the first half. Oh, 
The pepper substitution number fourteen, Haven Lope. Time will be kept on the field. Roderick couldn't even hope to get to it. This entire kept on the field. We have under two minutes to go. Rockton goals scored in the second minute of the first half by number eight, Madison Moore, assisted by number nine, Jaira Rogers. Getting the assist. Goal for 
wants it more.
really sure what led to that penalty shot for Brock. Let's capitalize on it. Effort injury substitution number 14, Haven Lopes. Very slow game here, save for penalty shot for Brockton and goal off a pass. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Seven minutes into the Second half, Brockton leading two to nothing. Southeast Conference rival, Bedford Whalers. Yeah, I'm gonna add to the good one. <laughs> 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 
So we should talk in for the boxers. More flipping it up, but Bedford able to head it up and out. The stoppage. It's going to be a quarter kick for Brockton. Good work there by number 11 for the Boxers. Jayla Curtis Stewart. Corner kick for Alicia Talkman. Head it up, and Brock can get a shot off. No. New bad for substitution number 13, Calista Pacheco. Pacheco. Coming back into the game for the Whalers. I'm on it. You got money, son? Opportunity for Brockton. And I'll with a corner pick. Lena Marion to take it on the far corner. for Brockton deep in Whaler territory. It'll be a free kick from the 13 yard line. Taken by number nine, Jarrah Rodriguez. The wall definitely not 10 yards back. The referee backs him up. Here's the kick from Rodriguez. Directly on net and picked off by Rodericks. Beautiful afternoon here at Marciano Stadium for soccer as the sun begins to set. Mr. Topman keeping in very nicely. No call on the push from Topman. On call by the officials. 
Baffert substitution number 21. And that will back in for the Whalers. Elongated substitution stoppage here. Let's see, boxes are going down to New Bedford later this fall for football. Boxers trailing, uh, traveling, excuse me, down 24 and 195. Which means a trip to one of the greatest burger places in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. DNB Burger in downtown New Bedford. Six minutes to go in the second half. The boxers leading two nothing. It's two nothing boxers about fifteen minutes into the first half. against the boxers and with that stoppage. We've got some famous alumni in the house traveling all the way down from Westboro, Massachusetts. The second he got out of work, he hit 495 to get down here in time for kickoff today. Brockton alumnus Alex Bush played a sleepy first half up until the last two minutes when Brockton put home that goal. And then about two minutes into the first half, by uh, the second half, rather, uh, Madison Moore on uh, a penalty shot made the score 2 nothing. But a very competitive soccer between these two teams. No clear advantage other than those two goals for the boxers. Well, thanks for uh, having me here, Mad Dog. Uh, always look forward to coming down to the South Shore. Watch me some soccer. You know, I I didn't try to get down here for the start. Of the game. My first two chances. I did hit some traffic, so there's that. That's why I'm here so late. I mean, yeah, just getting here, looking at this game, you know, you know. Very slow moving game, and, you know, not too much going on besides just some clear opportunity. Jerry on the field. Said. injury on the field. New Bedford injury substitution number six, Emily Miranda. That's big right there. That can maybe uh, be a turning point. She's one of their best players. Corner kick for the boxers here. Low line drive. Moore's got it. She pops it up. And Tochman's off sides. Get on the field. Get him off the field. We got, got two. We got two. Running wild on the far side of the field. Oh, wait. There's a bunch of them over there. 
Opportunity for the Whalers. Number 11 is going to have it cut off by the person for the boxers sharing the number on that play. Good defensive move right there. It kind of seems like New Bedford's out of this game already. They gave up hope. Sam Panacho defended by Jayla Kern Stewart. We take a look at that. There's Panacho and Kern hey. Stewart coming in nicely. That she just fades off on the ball. Like, you know, what? you're that close to the goal. Try to have some will to score. At least, you know, give some effort. Just lets the Brockton defender come right in and cut off the ball. All the New Bedford Whalers turning around on it now. A little bit off the mark, but Panacho able to recover. Nice move by Rodriguez. Oh, wow. I think that was accidental, but definitely a trip. Oh yeah, she, oh, she stuck the foot. Oh yeah. Well, the Bedford player knocked it out of bounds. And then the triple player. So. Cockman all the way back to take it for the boxers. Kick. <laughs> what that was. <laughs> the Bedford player just hit the deck. That's number yeah. seven. Where's Vanessa Bucha who just she, Where's the replay on that? She must have tripped over herself. Let's get the replay of that. I think she needs new shorts. Pepper needs new shorts. Sent in. And offsides called against the boxers. Halfway through the second half, it's two to nothing. Brockton on top of Southeast Conference rival the New Bedford Whalers. Something tells me that Mia Otero for the boxers is going to catch some sort of fire here in the second half. You can see that is Mia getting ready to come into the game for the boxers wearing the bright yellow cleats on the sideline. Yeah, give him another goal. Let's make this a run. If I had to take an over under. I would say in the last 1823, Mio Otero scores four goals. Bold tragedy. Let's see if it pays off for him. Hey, just look at the visiting fans. What a crowd. Well, ladies, soccer is not that popular. Among the fan base anymore. Plus, I mean, the Bedford is fine. He's talking about crossing the 50. Let's take away there. And here's a breakaway for Mia Otero. She shoots and scores. The boxers are up 3-0. That's a 
just blasted it past Roderick with the right boot. And the boxers take a 3-0 lead, 17 minutes to go. Well, at least you make fans back at home happy by at least getting it partially right for the last eight Time out called on the field by the veteran. Shoot the shot. Time out called by New Bedford. Brockton goals scored in the 18th minute of the second half by number 10, Mio Taro, assisted by number 9, Jaira Rodriguez, assisting on Otero's goal. First two for the boxers, Mio Otero adding one in the 18th minute of the second half. Nice with soccer, but does the time stop? Only for timeouts and injuries. They do the same in uh, professional soccer? For the most part. One turnover sent up ahead by number three of the boxers. Mia Barros. for the moment now. A little miscommunication. Crossed into the middle. And put it out. <laughs> Offsides called against the marchers at the 42 yard line. against Mio Otero. He wasted free kick for the Whalers. His top has stepped on in for it. Trip fouled against New Bedford. We think they're innocent.
Lots of Tiro in again. Mio Tiro launches it. And it's going to go trickle home. Rodericks didn't even try for it. And Mio Tiro has her second goal in the last couple of minutes. I think you better go to Vegas now. Put that in the books. Brockton goals scored in the 15th minute of the second half by another 10. Otero might have been Otero. about a half step off sides. But the refs didn't see it. So Otero with the last two Brockton, Brockton goals. And the Botchers threatening once again. Here's Alicia talking. If you're in the new bedroom, you got to die. You got to lay out. She must have realized that she didn't have a chance, even if she dove for it. He's making a attempt. The Beffert substitution, number 17, Alexia Rodericks. Rockton substitution, number 2, Jaylena Davis. to the game for you boxers. Here's Otero again, and she loses it. And the quarter kick forthcoming for the boxers on a Marion on the far side. Get to the middle, it's sent to the outside for Otero. Now to Marion in the box, her shot is wide and off the football goalpost. The Bedford substitution number eight, Sage back Morrow. In the game for the Whalers. Brockton substitution number 15, Jim Martina Grind. Grind. Now for Brockton. Nothing boxers. Here's in offsides. This is lining up to be a three on O for the boxers. Homestead, whose name has not been called off in here. Sending it up for the Boxers. Here's Mio Otero in again on a semi-break. She launches a shot and it's a strike right down the middle. Mio Otero with a hat trick here. In the second half for Brockton, who now lead it five to nothing. One more. You got ten minutes to do it. I'm telling you, man, you should want to. Uh, you want to show want to Vegas. What a one. what a step right there by Mio Terra to change directions and shake her defender. Broke the ankles of the Bedford defender. And firing a strike right down the middle. Brockton goals scored in the 11th minute of the first of the second half by number 10. Mio Otero with Otero. a hat trick in eight minutes for the boxers. Good thing I didn't bet you. Sure. The Bedford substitution number five. I would have. Oh, we'll get dinner or something. Six Sierra. It's not too late. <laughs> I 
I bet you by the end of this game, Mia Otero gets one more goal. Uh, I'm not a betting man. Plus, I don't like to do it on uh, my community access channel. Don't like to tell the viewers that I like to gamble. <laughs> Free kick for the Whalers from the 45 yard line of the football market. Okay, bounces through, but Elish Olmstead is there to retrieve for the Foxes. With it, eight and a half minutes to go. In regulation here with a five to nothing lead over Southeast Conference rivals. Mio Otero with a hat trick in the last eight minutes. Madison Moore with the first two boxer tallies. And here come the boxers once again. Out of play, it'll be a throw in for Brockman. Brockton substitution number 16, Charlotte Linehan. Fire is in the middle of the, uh, rather, Mia Otero on fire. In the middle of the field for the boxers with a hat trick here. Started at 18 minute mark, this one deflecting. Why get picked up by Roberts. Twenty to go. The first half, very lax. The days of goal. We think two shots on net. Total between the two teams. That's more coming in. More Brockman. The Bedford substitution number nine, Karen Ramos. Turf for Brockton. Now we are Terrell Mass. Substitution number four, Brockton goals so far this afternoon. Number eight, Madison Moore. Throwing whalers on the far side. Bailey Schoemstead comes away with it. Come the boxes. Mio Otero calling for it on the outside. She will just give up on it. She thought that number 15 was going to retrieve a miscommunication. Mio Otero now with it. She launches a shot. It's easily handled by Roger. It's five and a half to go. Otero to add to her goal total. Yeah, I think uh, that one was a little too far out for her. Didn't have the mustard on it. Box is charging once again. Out by Brockton. Push call against number two, Jalena Davis. Intercepted by 
the boxers now. That's it, we're stepping on the ball. Now we're going to have a whistle. Otero cleared to the official that should be blocked in the ball. That's not part of me. <laughs> she almost took one in the back of the head. <laughs> yeah, not when you're stepping all over a uh, New Bedford player. Homestead sending it back towards midfield. Official time will be kept on the field. Five unofficial minutes left. The official time kept on the field by the referee. Terrell with a hat trick. Madison Moore, who's chasing it down now, with the first two boxer goals. This one sent across from Mia Otero. Otero shoots in, saved by Rodericks on the rebound attempt. Otero scores her fourth goal of the afternoon for Brockton. An afternoon to remember for Mia Otero. Initial save, but and then challenging with yeah, Rodericks. One, one too hard. Rockton goals scored in the fifth minute of the second half by number 10, Mio Otero. Madison Moore with it for Brockton. She turns it over. And we have well, about two and a half minutes left. Matthew Nelson over here with the one of the Calls of the century. I'm going to Vegas. Call the four goal outburst. Outburst. Wow. Like you called that, sir. Uh, I don't know how you do it, but that was a good call. Is wow. More with it, sending it to the outside. It's saved by Rodericks. New Bedford's got Brockton right where they want them with not much time remaining, down six goals. If New Bedford goes for the touchdown, an extra point, they're trying to win it. <laughs> uh, wrong sport over there, man. Speaking of football, it's Brockton High up at Everett to face the Crimson a all-time historical matchup. Two of the winningest football programs in Massachusetts high school history. One o'clock kickoff in that one up at Everett High School. We'll be there for you on Brockton through the access. Of course, missing a little bit of history this year as Coach Armin Palumbo has passed on. And Everett's longtime coach, uh, DiBiaso, is retired from coaching high school football and one day after the announcement signed a contract to coach the Catholic Memorials team. Roderick's with the goal kick. Four 
goal effort is one of the veterans players hurt his knee. Mia Otero, four goals. Madison Moore, two goals. Those two players account them for all of the Brockton scoring here at Marciano Stadium this afternoon. Mia Otero coming in to 18 minutes remaining in the second half is when she scored her first goal. And then in the span of about 15 minutes, she had three more. The whistles blow, and this one has come to an end. A dominating six to nothing win. Final score over the New Bedford Whalers for the Brockton Boxers, who now have four straight victories and started to find their identity early in the season. Are the Brockton Boxers? Yeah, with another consecutive win like that, uh, to make it now three in a row. That's uh, pretty good. Well, even more than three in a row, I think. But, Four in a row for the boxers. No doubt about the player of the game. It's going to be four goal scorer Mia Otero doing that feat in the last 18 minutes of the game. Otero with four goals and Madison Moore adding the first two for Brockton to set the tone in this game. She scored those two about four minutes of game time apart with two minutes remaining in the first half and two minutes into the second half. And here you see the penalty shot early in the second half. For our cast and crew, my broadcast partner for the latter half of the second half, Alex Wish, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game.